Y'all, I've been watching a lot of crazy videos. Now, I know some of these videos is probably posted in like different days, but I'm reacting to everything in like one day. And oh my gosh, I think this might be my last one. I, I really think this might be my last one. Just based off the title. First of all, shout out to Officer Tatum, but just based off the title, God made me trans. Are you serious? That can't be true. That has to be a clickbait title. It has to be a clickbait title. But I know Officer Tatum doesn't clickbait, so I, it has to be real. It has to be real. But anyways, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Without further ado, let's get to it. If you were such a godly man who's returned his whole life around for God, you should learn for a little bit more acceptance and tolerance. Let me ask you this. Is God tolerant? I think God made us all in his light. He didn't make any mistakes, right? So if he created trans people, then he did it for a reason. Did he create trans what? people or do trans people choose to be trans? It was not a choice for me. What? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me talk about this clip. You know, it may be an older clip. You guys probably have seen it before. You know, we all have probably seen the whatever podcast, but if you haven't, it's kind of like the Fresh and Fit and the, and the uh, what's the name, Pearly Things. And they have these panel of dummies that sit on the panel and then they find one or two smart women to balance the discussion. And then there's obviously two guys on the panel that that lead the conversation. They always have this woman on there, not because she's smart or because she had any value, it's because she's good for content. And they can put her face on the flyer and, and they, they get millions and millions of views because she say the dumbest things on planet Earth. And then they added this next person. They... <laughs> Yo! Yo! Bro, I'm so glad I wasn't the only one thinking the same thing. I'm so glad. Bro, I'm so glad I wasn't the only one thinking the same thing, bro. I didn't want to be rude, but it definitely was in my head. It definitely was in my head, bro. Oh, my God. A flyer, and, and they, they get millions and millions of views because she say the dumbest things on planet Earth. And then they added this <laughs> next person. And then they have another. And it's another young lady. She's a Christian. I just followed her back on social media because she said something pretty cool. So I bro. followed her back. I don't know what's if the girl is in this shot but let's play this clip because the conversation that they're having is is about god <laughs> it is funny to hear people that don't even read the bible mm. who have no concept of scriptural truths mm. try to uh, attack another person yeah. about what they think the bible says oh yeah but this young man on this panel is spanking her ashy elbows on this topic wrote a clip if you were such a hello wait i'm sorry before we wrote a clip uh first of all i just want to say this dog i kid you not i love conversations talking about god if you don't know i am a christian okay i read my bible i'm i'm grounded into my word i'm not perfect i'm not perfect at all but i'm grounded into the word of god i'm filled with the holy spirit i love having conversations about god because i feel like no one can Tell me, tell me, especially if you're not reading the Bible and you're not even spiritually awakened to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ and God, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not even awakened to that, bro, pff, oh, you, your butt is grass. Just saying. Spanking her ashy elbows on this topic, wrote a clip. If you were such a godly man who's returned his whole life around for God, you should learn for a little bit more acceptance and tolerance. Let me ask you this. Is God tolerant? Oh, I think girl. God made us all in his light. He didn't make any mistakes, right? He, he made us all in his light? Did she say like or light? Did she mean likeness? Okay, that's the start of it. It's the young girl right here. That's the girl I follow back, conservative. I may put her link in the description. I don't. I, I know the guy on the far, far right, but I don't know this dude in the middle that's finna, that's finna tear, tear her to shreds. Roll the clip. So if he created trans people, then he did it for a reason. Did he create trans people or do trans people choose to be trans? It was not a choice for me. You didn't? <laughs> it was not a I don't want to call her no names and I'm not going to call her no names. I'm not. Oh Y'all know God. it's a lot of material there. No pun intended. 
I could probably call her all kind of stuff. A necklace like some sloppy joe. <laughs> I said I'm not perfect. I said I'm not perfect at all. I'm not, but bro, this is this is just hilarious. I feel like they did this on purpose. They <laughs> because before I watched this video, I seen another clip of that same girl. That same girl, uh, <laughs> she rated herself a ten out of ten, like on looks. She said I'm a ten. No, she said I'm a fat effing ten. <laughs> At least she alive. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Keep going. But. It's unfortunate that somebody has lied Ooh. to this person because you can be big like that. That don't mean you wear a spaghetti strap <laughs> that's hanging on for dear life. And this person, unfortunately, has oh, the double please. whammy. Please. That means that you will have a hard time getting a man to start with being that big. <laughs> and then once the man get past you being thick, now he gotta get past the Wayne. <laughs> so not only are you big, you have a dingling. <laughs> oh my, bro, bro, I can't watch this right now, bro. Austin Tatum, bro, I kid you not. This dude is killing me, bro. <clears throat> this dude is killing me, bro. <clears throat> See, gotta get past the Wayne. <laughs> And once you get past that, now you got to think of like, I can't, bro. I can't. Why did she come? Or he, oh, whatever, bro. Why? This, oh, he like a hot mess. He look like a hot mess, bro. He came on here with some spaghetti straps. Stomach bigger than the titties. <coughs> this is, oh, my gosh. I can't, bro. You you a man? That that they didn't set this person up for a a, for a very very difficult life. <laughs> All right, now, let me roll the clip. A fucking choice for me. You didn't choose to go on hormones. You don't choose to dress this way. You don't choose to identify as a woman. You don't choose to wear a weave. You don't choose to put on makeup and present yourself as a woman. So I'm going to go back to the original question. You said it's my job as a Christian godly man to be tolerant because that's what Christians are supposed to do. My original question is, is God tolerant? I think it's your job to mind your business. No, my yeah. question to you is, is God tolerant? You projected yeah, all of these Yeah, I would say God is tolerant. In Genesis, it says that when God created mankind, he made them male and, and female. female. Yes. And in Leviticus, it says for a male to have sexual relations with another man, as he would with a woman, that is an abomination in God's eyes and is yeah. worthy of being put to death. How many times has the Bible is been the, translated? How many times has the Bible as been Orthodox translated? Jew, this is correct, is it not? The biggest thing that we harp on in Judaism is a man should not lie in bed with another man, and then we take that to mean don't Do you guys know that okay. that scripture was changed so many times though? Oh, the Bible has been translated. Obviously, that's not a falsehood. It was not written in English, was it? No. Do you know, do you know um, Latin? It wasn't written in Latin. Okay, whatever was written Aramaic. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, it was been Aramaic, My whole point Greek, is in Hebrew. Bro, she didn't even know the original, what the original Bible was written in, bro. I couldn't even take her serious. It don't matter if you read the Bible or not, bro. Everybody should know. Everybody, whether atheist, whatever, bro. Everybody should know what the original Bible was written in. This girl said Latin. <laughs> okay, if you didn't even know, girl, stop it. <laughs> Let me finish. You're Jesus trying to educate Christ. me on the Bible, okay, but you don't even have the most basic facts. Do it after. Do it let me don't finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. What I was saying is, the Bible has been rewritten so many times. False. It's been translated there so many go. times. Faithfully and accurately. Okay. The Bible has been translated multiple times, and there is proof and evidence stating that most of those translations from those scriptures they were actually saying a man should not lay with a child or we talking like that it's not in the vatican there's not we I don't have these things right? i'm sorry i, I can't you... listen to that false i learned the bible in the original language that it was written i learned in aramaic and i learned in hebrew and it's never a child it's a man should not lay in bed with another man and so jews don't even share beds like on sleepaway trips if we went overnight jews two guys are not allowed to even share a bed for a sleepover because it's that serious that it also even more so means that you should not do anything gay 
Ding, 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 ding. <clears throat> Shout out to the young lady here, Deborah. Yes, sir. Right? And then I, f I don't know his name, but I, I like this guy, man. I seen him on the show last time, and he was just cutting through the BS. And, and let, let me just give my opinions about this whole thing. So, uh, is God tolerant? The answer is, no, God is not tolerant, but God does have grace. Because when you talk about tolerant, in the last days, I don't think there's going to be a lot of tolerance, right? When Jesus come back, it doesn't say it's going to be a lot of tolerance. When you go to judgment and, 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 and you got to stand before God and attest to all the things that you've done, I, I don't really know how much tolerance is going to exist there. Now, there's grace while we are here. And so people that are willing to pursue God and to be humble and understand that they have faults and they want to correct those faults and they pray about those faults and they actively acknowledge that this is not what God wants for them. I think God have enough grace that God could help them get to the finish line. If you're a person that's consistently denying the truth about God and what the word says, you find yourself in a position where you cannot recover. In the book of Romans, when it talks about that God gave them over to a reprobated mind, when it talks about God gave them over to their lustful affections, th these things are real. And people that deny it, God will give you over to the very lust that you, sh you ought not be doing. And it's up to you to make the difference. Like, you can't say God made trans people. You can't he say did. God made gay people. He did. That that makes no sense because my question to people that ask that question is that when did God start making gay people? Because I don't know nowhere in the Bible where it says God made a gay person. Yeah, it ain't nowhere in the Bible. Show me, show me somebody that God made that was gay. Bro, they just see this is the thing though. They don't want to accept the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, I did a video like this of the LGBT like bashing this one guy, this Christian guy for he was a pastor, but he was baptizing people in the lake near them. But however, people don't want to accept the truth. They feel like God, if God was so loving, he would accept me for who I am. Bro, y'all really think y'all know yourself more than God know you? God say in the word that he knew you before he formed you in your mother's womb. Okay, so for you to even think that you know yourself more than God knows you, more than the creator of you knows you, like, it doesn't make sense, bro. You don't know yourself more than God knows you. So you can't say that God, God got to accept me for who I am. No, that's not how the, that's not how the game works. You feel me? God particularly made male and female. He wants us to, uh, he wants us to be fruitful and multiply. You can't multiply with a man and a man. You can't multiply with a female and a female. That's just not how the game works, brother. And my sister, it's not. God did not make no trans person. Who you know in the Bible that's transgender? Who you know in the Bible that switched, that switched their whole entire everything and, and, and dressed like a woman and got a PP and they're, they're like, no, that's not even the thing, bro. It wasn't even a thing back then. Society has made it a thing now. The reason why America is the way it is is because of man, not because of God. The Bible tells us that the devil is the prince of this world because literally people follow the devil. They will rather worship the devil. They will rather do things that's against God. And when you're doing things against God, all you're doing is saying yes to the devil and no to God. You're going with the flesh rather than the spirit. You are what you feed yourself. If you feed your, if you feed your flesh, you, you're going to act out in the flesh. If you feed your spirit, you're going to act out in the spirit. That's why we have to be grounded into our word and, and really focus on Jesus Christ himself. We have to focus. We, have to, we are in a spiritual warfare right now. This is not no blood and flesh. The Bible tells us that this is not a war between blood and flesh. No. This is a spiritual warfare we're in right now. But people don't understand that, bro. People truly don't understand that. <clears throat> Any of the apostles? Any of the prophets? Uh, Moses? Abraham? I mean, you go down the list. Does anybody of any substance in the Bible, God made gay? It don't exist, man. At all. And then if you look at gay homosexual activity, what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? It was destroyed. <laughs> like so, so God definitely didn't make gay people or make a per a create a person gay those are those are sinful things that humans <clears throat> engage in and create mental illness towards and that's why they struggle with it it has nothing to do with god making you like that because then you have to open up the door to say okay if you say god made you gay all right let's run with that
Then that means that people that are trans, God made them trans. Okay, let's roll with that. People that are murderers, God made them a murderer, right? Because there's biological things that go on in the brain where people lack empathy and, and, and they don't have feelings. And that's a, that's a mental illness. And therefore, they torture animals and they have no, no empathy for or sympathy for these animals. And they go on to be serial killers. Now, if you say yes, yes, yes to those things, then a person who's a pedophile will say, I was made this way. That, it's, it's funny. It, it, let, me, let me just say this because I say this and people probably get weirded out, but I keep it 100. It is, let me just try to say it more succinctly. When do women have their menstrual cycles? And they have their first menstrual cycle, which means they can get pregnant. It is, I, mean, I don't know the, the, the exact answer, but I would say probably in their early teens, 15, in 13 and 15 or some, somewhere around there. I mean, it depends. I think, I, I don't know the actual answer either, but I think it depends. Like, I think some women actually can get theirs like at 11, 12. I really think, I think some women can get theirs at 11 to 12, if I'm not mistaken. Or well, maybe it is 13, 14, 15. I don't know. Maybe it is around there. Now, if you look at the biological makeup of humanity, wouldn't it be reasonable that a human, back when we only lived to 30, if a woman was, if a girl was 12, 13, 14, that a man will get married at a young age, have children with a 13, 14, 15 year old? Do, wouldn't it, our society today looks at that as if it's disgusting, which and I think it's disgusting, maybe because I grew up in a society where a, a grown man mess with a kid is absolutely out of control. However, in the history of humanity, even in the Bible, men had women or married women and had children, women who are much younger because biologically they can have children at this particular age. Now, we all know how most of us feel about that. But I'm just speaking about biology. If a man were to be attracted to a 15 year old, it's sickening to us, but biologically it's not abnormal in the human species. When you are saying that a man is laying with another man, it, it, it's not the relationship. It's that biologically it makes absolutely no sense. <coughs> there's no value because there's no reproductive value. Yeah. And then when they go so far as to have relations, you can't go through the back door. And then there's problems when you do that. It's a one-way street. You go down the wrong street, you're going to have some problems. Two women getting together, the same thing. These things don't match. So if you are willing to say that a person is born to want to be with the same sex, then a person who's saying that they're attracted to younger birth age people, then you have to give concessions for both. You have to say, okay, if you're born that way, then the pedophile guy is born that way. Then why do you penalize or criminalize the pedophile if he was born that way? The thing is that none of these people are born that way. But what they want to do is open up the window to eventually get people to believe that a person can be born loving little kids and, and, and looking at child situations. And I'm going to stop it right there. Actually, it's not even that much left to go. Like It's probably like a minute left. Yeah, like a minute or something left, but I'm going to get my little thoughts on the situation. Now, uh, I, I don't want to make the video as long as it already is, but my, like I said, my thoughts is that everything starts with a choice. God didn't make you no way. Everything starts with a choice. You feel me? God didn't make you like this. God didn't make you like that. The reason why you are the way you are is because you was born into sin. All right? You was born into sin. Then, as you start to get older, you start to experience a little bit more things. You know what I'm saying? You start to probably get introduced to, you feel me? You probably got introduced to porn. You feel me? Like, Probably got introduced to a lot of other different things. Probably was seeing things as a kid that you don't remember. Probably seeing your brother or somebody, your older brother, dress up like this. And it's just a lot of things that could happen starting off when you was a kid. So don't say that God made this and God made that. God didn't make you any type of way. God made you the way that he wanted, to, uh, wanted, you, to, um, wanted you to be. He made you a male. He made you a female. That is what God made you as. He didn't make you a trans. He didn't make you confused because God is not a confusing God. So he didn't make you none of those things. Well, th that's what people have to understand. God gave us free choice. Why do you think of so many atheists? Why do you think of so many saint Satanists? Why do you think of so many other religions? It's because God gave us free choice. Re religion is man-made, first of all. But, however, God gave us free choice to pick and choose whether we want to follow his son, Jesus Christ, and believe that he died on the cross for our sins, or if we want to go ahead and follow our own path and say, no, nah, I don't want to believe in that. 
at the end of the day, your punishment will will always end up somewhere in eternal. Okay, you will either end up eternally in heaven or eternally in hell. It's your choice as you're here on this earth. My advice to everybody is to really dig deep into the word. Dig deep into the word. You cannot read the Bible unless you're not unless you're filled with the Holy Spirit. And the reason I say that is because a lot of people would dive into the Bible. You could be an atheist. You would dive into the Bible and everything just won't make sense to you. Nothing won't make sense. Sometimes it's not always the case, but half of the time, that's the case. You know what I'm saying? Because you're just reading it from a worldly point of view rather than reading it from a spiritual stance. You have to read your Bible from a spiritual sense. You have to truly believe in God. You have to truly believe in Jesus Christ. Be grounded into the word and really know your history. Before you start to just say whatever. Oh, God made me this way. God made me that. Like, no. You made yourself this way. You had a choice from the day you was born. Use that freedom that you have to do what God has placed you on this earth to do. Use that freedom that you have for good, not for evil. That's it. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Uh, I love each and every one of y'all. I did not want to make this video about 20 minutes long, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? We react to Officer Tatum, so hey, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. But anyways, man, I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.